Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Sammy here with another video. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so glad you're joining us here today. In today's video, we are continuing our mini series about how to set up your planner for the upcoming year. Last week, we talked about creating your planning system. And this week, we're jumping right on into the monthly spreads. I'm gonna be talking about how I use my monthly spreads, how to utilize your monthly spreads and give you some tips and tricks along the way. For this video, I thought instead of me just talking to the camera about these things, I would actually show some past uh, monthly spreads that I have done for us visual learners like myself and just kind of chat about things as we do that. So I'm going to flip the camera around so you can have a top down view of my planner and let's go ahead and jump into this. All right, you guys. So I usually share a monthly plan with me at the beginning of each month when that is where I go through and I plan out my month with you guys and you kind of see that process of me setting up my monthly planner or monthly spread, excuse me. But I thought it would be fun to share some tips just so we can talk about the anatomy of a monthly spread and kind of what I do um, for each month in my planner to make my monthly spread really work. So I have my current Moxie Life and my Moxie Life for next year just so I can show you some different things that I do um, from a current planner to a upcoming planner. And so we're going to first look at the upcoming planner because at the beginning of the year or around this time, November, December, I really like to sit down and write out what is to come in my year. Um, in my first video in this series, I talked a lot about how um, with planning supplies to avoid using whiteout and having to scribble out things or change things, I will write everything on a sticky note beforehand. So I take some time to sit down, look at my schedule, and I write everything out. Um, most of the stuff right now comes from my work schedule as a teacher. I make sure I write down days I have, no school, early out days, end of term, professional development, those types of things. Um, that way, when I do get to the end of December, where I would set up January, I can refer to this sticky note when I am setting up the uh, month. I also like to write down birthdays, other celebrations, appointments, um, here, once again, it's more like school stuff in February, but we are taking a trip in February, so I wanted to make sure I had that written down. Um, in March, same thing, still more school stuff, but then I also have a fun thing coming up with some work friends in March as well. And so I just wanna use sticky notes just in case anything changes. With work, things aren't gonna change, but I might schedule a hair appointment in January, but I wanna write that on a sticky note until it actually happens so I don't have to light it out. Obviously, things are gonna change. If it's in the month of January and I have to reschedule, I'll just reschedule and I'll leave it there. But I really want to save my planner as much as possible and not have to scribble things out and white things out. And I found that the best way to do that is with sticky notes. So now we are going to look at my current planner and talk about some things. Um, I want to mention that all of the things that I write uh, in my monthly calendar are time-specific tasks or reminders. I like to use my monthly view as an overview so I can see how much time I have for my goals. And once all of my appointments and schedules are written down, then that's how I decide how to use time for my goals, which is where my goal setting stuff comes in in the Moxie Life Planner. Um, so here is an example of a monthly spread from this year. This was March. Another thing I'd like to know is that I do also memory keep in my monthly spread. And so as the month goes on, 
I will add little journaling notes to my monthly spread. So here's a completed one. Um, I'm actually filming this series um, in November, just so I have time to um, myself in December and be with my family during the holidays. So we're batch filming. But anyways, um, here is my current planner monthly setup for November. As you can see, I highlight the whole thing um, beforehand. So I make sure I have the colors where I want them and then I journal, but I make sure that I plan out everything before that. So that's just an extra side thing is that I do use this for journaling. So that's why it looks like there's a lot written on these in these squares. But um, I first and foremost, I make sure that I schedule those appointments and things that are going to happen. And then I'll go in and I'll put in like things like workouts or um, watching a TV show like Daisy Jones and the Six. That was something for a personal goal. Um, birthdays, those types of things. I just want to make sure that I'm scheduling my time wisely. Um, the things that need to get done, um, but do not need to be scheduled, um, either live on a sticky note or written in the sidebar. So right here, I do have some like fun Christian designs, holidays, but these two things up here, getting my hair done and taxes, those are two things that I knew I wanted to get done in March when I was setting up my monthly spread for March at the end of February, but I didn't know exactly when they were going to happen because I needed to still make those appointments for the month. So instead of just like guessing, obviously, of when they were going to happen, I wrote them in the sidebar and when I did schedule them, I wrote them down and then I checked them off here. Um, so I use my sidebar for like reminders for things and I'm pretty sure... Yeah, in May, I did the same thing. Like, I wasn't sure if we were going to go to this event because um, at the time, we were moving. And so, I wrote it on the sidebar. Same with register my car. My car needs to be registered every May, but I didn't know what day I was going to do that. And so, I just wrote it on the sidebar to remind myself that it needed to get done. And then, when I had time during the month. I got it done. And so that's how I utilize the sidebar of my monthly spread. Um, I really want to encourage you guys to get in the habit of using um, your monthly calendar for both work and personal life. I know it might be tempting to have your work calendar and your work planner if you have a work planner and then your personal calendar and your personal calendar stuff um, and another planner so they don't mix so you can focus on things. Um, I've tried that before and you can double book yourself on accident or you just str can struggle like telling people about things especially if you're married or live with someone else. Um, there have been times where like I knew I had parent teacher conferences because I'm a teacher as part of my job. But since I didn't write it in my personal planner, I forgot to remind my husband. And so he was kind of shocked when I was like, oh yeah, this week I have parent-teacher conferences. And he had no idea. Um, and so it's just stuff like that. It helps you not overbook yourself um, and cover your whole schedule to see exactly where you have free time. If you need to remind people about things that sort of thing. Um, so hopefully all of those things make sense. Though it's just my little tidbits when it comes to a monthly spread. And like I said, I set up one of these every month at the beginning of the month. So if you are interested in watching any of those, you can. Um, I'll make sure to include December's in the cards above. Um, so you can check that out. But these are just some of my simple tips to help you get started on your monthly calendar. And please remember to do what works for you and have fun with it. If this does not work for you, 
you don't have to do it. You don't have to do the journaling in here. I just do that because I love memory keeping and I've learned part of my system is I need just one planner for everything. I can't have a memory keeping planner and a personal planner and a goal planner or whatever. So I have my goals, my personal life, and my journaling all in one. And so that's just how I utilize this. But anyways, you guys, down in the comments below, please tell me how do you like to use your monthly spread? You could share a monthly planning tip if you have any or if anything I said stuck out to you or inspired you. Um, don't forget to like this video and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my planning content here on YouTube. And until next time, guys, I'll see you all later. Bye.